ain't gonna lie, I, every time I see an episode of this now, I'm immediately just like, who cooked this? Who cooked this? Am I mad at it? No, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all, you, 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 you having some type of crazy ass ideas when it comes to these big body ass women and yet still somehow pull it off though are we gonna talk about this shit every saturday until this damn show stops airing probably but let's get into it this time we was around a dark elf when it comes down to things and she don't look that damn bad i'm being honest like she looking pretty damn good honestly not as like body wise i would say stomach wise not as heavy as the previous elf chick that we had but you know what she is packing mad ass she is packing huge balls of ass like if madara was out here throwing damn meteors she out here throwing asses all around wherever she damn where it sits like let's be completely honest do you think this chair is not fighting for its life this chair is absolutely fighting for its life it has five kids it's just trying to get on disability but this damn big body ass elf is making it hard for him to even survive this chair ain't gonna make it throughout the damn night i'm gonna just tell you that right now so obviously our doctor come through and be like all right you need to lose some damn weight and also your blood flow in your legs is actually pretty shit so you might need to get the massage every now and then which he ended up doing and essentially it's like yo do some damn squats why because this anime don't have enough fan service just yet so they made her do some squats and just Ugh. I can see all the people that want to eat ass or do eat ass just probably drooling when they see this shit. I'm not gonna hold you because at the end of it, you ain't gonna necessarily have me tripping out here not trying to grab that ass because definitely that is an ass worth grabbing honestly. It is worth putting up above your whole face and letting it crush you flat like Squidward. Like it is what it is when it comes down to it. Like her ass is so damn massive that quite literally her clothes can't handle it. Her underwear can't handle it. Can't show that. But her jeans or khaki pants more specifically can't handle it either. Also, what the hell is this whole ass angle though? Right? We understand why. We, we can see definitely some few features as to why. We can definitely see a certain toe that is also attached to camels when it comes down to it. We understand why, which honestly... Can we just see it bare bones? Can we just see it bare completely out? Because I ain't gonna hold you, that sounds like a pretty great time, honestly. But that just besides the point. And then we also see this elf chick and the other dark elf fighting each other. But then the remark the doctor said actually was pretty damn smart and pretty damn accurate. And pretty damn basically what I was thinking about last time. Which essentially, yeah, I can understand why people like some big ass women now. I totally get it. Women are like that, that can be attractive at times, 100%. So Dark L bitch, not necessarily bad. There was also even a scene where we got to see her in a damn bathtub, getting naked as hell. And can I just tell you how nice it is to actually see a dark skinned character in an anime with actual nipple features and actually looking mad good? Because I can't remember the last time we even seen anything like that because it's been so damn long. It's been so damn long to the point I can't even remember who even did that that is not in a Jintai, to be perfectly honest with you. So to be full front and being real, it's nice to see some actual dark skin action, not gonna lie. But then we get into another peak ass character, which I don't remember the name of because that's a long ass name and do you expect me to really remember that shit? But I will not forget that she is a different type of monster girl that I don't think we've ever really seen in anime, or at least not much of, or at least not ever. I think she might be one of the first couple of ones that we've ever really seen. And I think the monster girl that she is is like a Alraina or Al Aruna or whatever. But basically it's like a monster girl with a flower on her head that, you know, obviously taking sunlight through that and, you know, can have like different, you know, type of plant features or whatever. And I've always wanted to see a character that is an Alorena. So the fact that we actually got one and actually is done through this show is breaking new ground for anime. Let me just say that right now. We, I don't think we ever really had a character like this specifically in Alorena specifically. So this is breaking new ground and I'm glad that we got to see it in this damn episode. The only sad part is that we didn't get to see her naked, which is 
pretty much a shame, right? It is the only thing I wanted to see. They covered up with flowers, which is unfortunate, but at the end of the day, at least we have her finally in any anime, so I'm perfectly happy with that shit. Also, the only thing that was really bothering her was the fact that her flower was so damn big on her head that it literally started breaking her body down, which is a bit unfortunate, so the homeboy had to basically go get a whole bunch of straps and basically put them into a BDSM type trap to fix their backup and shit, which is nice. Again, didn't see anything too lewd and crazy, but the angles was pretty damn good as well. But then she ends up telling him, yo, you might want to go to the spa real quick because there's some other type of chick that's out there that you might need to go find, which is this big body, back ass, heavyweight championship of the world from WWE in a diva division, how the hell is this possible? This ogre ass character, and I'm immediately like, nope, I am noping the hell out of here. You really think I can? No, absolutely not. Listen, I've already dealt when it comes down to muscle ass women. I can understand the appeal, I get it. But this shit right here, this is too strong. Too damn strong for my effing liking. I'm not gonna deal with this shit. Absolutely not. So I don't know what the hell's about to happen in the next episode next week, but I'm gonna tell you like this. I am not putting my whole junk inside of that because 100% that shit gonna make me come out just crinkled up like a damn french fry which will probably attract the first chick in the first damn place because her ass can't stop eating damn fries for shit so when it comes down to it it is what it is but still nonetheless glad we got to see the dark elf glad we finally got that type of plant character in an anime just in general and just to top everything off with skeet definitely on her damn flower because 100 she can take those nutrients as well